Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about an issue I have with my Ricoh GR3. If you have followed my channel, at least on the Instax Mini Evo video over there, over there, um, you know that I'm a big fan of the Ricoh. Actually, I think the Ricoh GR series is just an amazing uh, camera. Although in my opinion, it, and this is gonna probably trigger some people, it's a very fragile camera in the sense that, you know, there are dust issues on sensor and now I'm experiencing the scroll wheel issue. So if you are like me, unfortunately experiencing the Ricoh GR3 dreaded scroll wheel issue, you're not alone. And unfortunately I heard that there's not really a fix for it, but I'll show you what I do to at least help with the situation, I'm sure. You know, it's very frustrating for you as it is for me. By the way, how do you guys like my tactical background? I hope you guys do like it. Um, this is IKEA packboard actually, and I just spray painted it black to make it look really cool. I'm digging this, this new setup right now. Anyway, I digress. So, okay, what is the scroll wheel issue? Basically the scroll wheel issue is that when you scroll left or you scroll right, um, it's not detecting the motion correctly. For example, you're changing ISO, um, then your ISO would start skipping. So instead of going, when you when you scroll left, instead of you know, lowering the ISO, it would just jump up and down randomly. And if you're looking at photos, tend to kind of mess up as well. So if we look at the image number here, it just like randomly skips back and forth. Instead of that, let's try the ISO. So focus on the ISO here. See how it goes randomly goes back to 12,800. And we just randomly go up. Even though I'm scoring left, it's just erratic behavior, right, on the ISO. I don't think there is an actual fix unless you send the camera back to Rico, but I'm not willing to spend hundreds of dollars just to get this done. For me, the main way I use a scroll wheel really is for the ISO. So what I've done is I just set it up so that the ISO is up here. And then I just go here and select. Most of the time I have it on auto anyways, but if I do have to change it out, at least I can do it from here using the up and down directional pads instead of the scroll wheel. And that helps a bit as well. But most of the time, like I said, I shoot on auto ISO and pretty much in aperture mode most of the time. Another way I've heard of people you know, fixing it is number one, you turn it off and then you just do this. Just spin it left for like a minute and then you spin it right for a minute, okay? Now I've also heard people that saying, oh, there might be actual dust in between the sensor pad and they recommend, you know, this is just canned air, uh, giving the, the scroll wheel like around that area a blast and see if we can dislodge any type of debris. Basically do this for like a minute to the right and left, it's like doing some cardio for the camera. And then spray it down a little bit again. See, it's still bad, it jumps. So I'm not just gonna go left and go right. Okay, let's see. Going down, down is good. How about up? Oh, you can see that, huh? You see that little jump, how it just skips? But in general, I think this helps a little bit. Unfortunately, it's not a permanent fix without spending hundreds of dollars. Basically, your last ditch effort is just scroll this thing for like a minute with the camera turned off to the left and then to the right and then turn the camera back on. Overall, this at least looks like it's better. It was definitely better than before. I mean, honestly, if you guys have any type of recommendations for me on how to actually fix this, or like if you can find a cheaper way of replacing the pad or you know, any other way, please leave it in the comments below and let me know. I would love to hear how you guys are dealing with this scroll wheel issue. Any other tips you have on shooting the Rico? I'm all ears. I love this camera. The color and the image are amazing out of this camera. And I think that it is seriously like these two are like the best companion. You shoot with this, high quality images, 
you print with this awesome images printer, right? With the Insects Mini Evo. So for me, these two is what I always kind of bring with me on wherever I go traveling. And if I'm like feeling really up for it, then I'll bring my Fuji X-T4. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. Please consider subscribing, commenting below, and also letting me know what you guys think about this video and this type of content, especially regarding Rico. Oh, one last thing. Regarding the dust issue, what I always do with my Rico is I always add this JJC stick-on filter. Um, there's good and bad about this JJC stick-on filter. I've heard that if you're pulling it incorrectly, you might rip the front lens piece out. You might not want to do that. So it's almost like a permanent installation, but I always put one of these on just to prevent any dust from going in uh, through the actual lens element itself. But I'm sure there are possibility where dust can also go in from the barrel. But you no, know, with that being said, I'm just trying to mitigate any type of dust issue. So far, touch wood, everything's been good. If you're looking for at least a basic, you know, lens protection, um, I do recommend this JJC filter as well. So FYI. All right, anyway, thanks. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.